last winter we had some nasty storms here and my firewood was getting wet. I just had it on a cement slab and some tarps over it and they kept on blowing off as I didn't want to build the woodshed until I was finished my house. I'm building a house right now. I didn't want to get sidetracked. But it just started getting too wet so I thought I better just stop the house for a while and get on the woodshed. And while I was doing that, I thought I'd try some shingle art. Um, we lost our Great Dane a few months previous. So I thought I'd try to do a little bit of a tribute to him by doing a silhouette of him on the side of the, on the, side of the barn. Um, I don't think it turned out too bad. Um, it was a bit of a learning curve. Uh, the hardest part was to always keep the lap the right way. Because if you look at something as simple as a detail of the tail itself, it's about four cores thick because the temptation is just to nail a little piece on the top because it's just a simple little tail, but then you have the, the, um, the water shedding the wrong direction. It wants to go in behind the shingles instead of on top of them. So I was always careful to have the water shedding down. That's what took the time. So after I finished that, I thought, well, I'm feeling a little braver, so I'll try something different on the other side. And while I was doing that, I was experimenting with shingle exposure and the widths between the shingles because I'm doing a little... I'll be doing some sidewall shingles on the house too. So that helped out a little bit of practice for me. I come around this side and, and several years ago, my first dog, my first Great Dane actually, his name was um, Thor. And my wife had a little bully and her name was Rosie and they were the best of buds. So I, we had a picture of them when they were standing beside each other and, and uh, <clears throat> Thor was jet black and Rosie was white. It was a nice, nice um, contrast. So I thought I'll try that on the side of the building here. So what I did was I took the, um, I picked out the dark red shingles, and I used them for the Great Dane and the, and the, the lighter red, the almost yellow shingles I, I used for Rosie. And then to get uh, a contrast on the on the wall itself, I um, I bought a few bundles of cypress, which is yellow cedar. As you can see, there's a difference there. Um, so it gives definition on the edges. Um, it seemed to work out quite well. That's all natural color. That hasn't been, um, no stain has been applied. That's the natural difference in the color of the of the shingles. And I put a preservative on it so to, it won't gray out too fast and it should last a while. And, and that's my uh, my adventure in um, shingle art. Um, it's fun to do. It's a lot of work, a lot of thinking, but uh, it's interesting.